the ugly truth of being shredded. As we approach the end of winter and summers are on the corner, the idea of starting a diet is becoming imminent. Personally, I'll be starting my diet mid-April as we chase my pro card as a natural bodybuilder. If you're thinking about it, I'd like you to start it with me. That being said, over the past couple of months I've shared in detail the best ways to drop body fat using scientific evidence. It also reminded me that I failed you to a certain degree by not highlighting the side effects of getting lean or shredded. In this video, I'll be sharing the physical and mental changes that occur getting to low body fat levels. I've never done a video like this before, attempting to understand the internal changes and not the external of a diet. If you do enjoy this video, take a second, hit the like button. It will help the YouTube algorithm for those who've never seen this information. If you're new, subscribe, it's free, and hit the bell button to get a notification when I upload. Side effect one, hunger, by far the most common side effect, but allow me to explain hunger at the biochemical level. Dr. Clock and colleagues describes the process the best. Leptin and ghrelin are two hormones that have been recognized to have a major influence on energy balance. Leptin is a mediator of long-term regulation of energy balance, suppressing food intake and thereby inducing weight loss. Ghrelin, on the other hand, is a fast-acting hormone. It's also known as the hunger hormone, seemingly playing a role in meal initiation. So as you decrease in body fat, adipose tissue, so does the levels of leptin. So you're constantly feeling hungry. The concentration of ghrelin increases, edging you on to eat. This is why you are always thinking about food as you keep getting leaner. And when you binge eat, that is your body failing to express enough leptin due to low body fat. And on a more personal experience, I've gone through multiple experiences of binge eating and high food focus. My best advice is to be mature about starting a diet and realizing what's going on in your body. That's why I think this video will be very helpful. So don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up. The way I mitigated these effects of hunger was one, a high volume meal plan, eating whole foods, a high protein diet that induces satiation, and also includes snacks that you enjoy to satisfy the pleasure centers in your brain. Caffeine has also been a good friend due to its ability to suppress appetite, but also be wise about the amount of caffeine you consume. On a side note, I'm working on a company, my first ever. For now, let's call it Project Triple X. This company will help people with the same problem all around the world. I want this to be my legacy. Side effect two, libido. A decrease in sexual activity. To best explain this, a case report by Dr. Strauss and colleagues. A college wrestler's weight, body fat, and hormone levels were measured during two years of competition. In the first year, Marked weight loss during the initial season was associated with low serum levels of testosterone and several other hormones, as well as a decrease in reported sexual activity. In the second year, all valleys returned to normal after the season. The following year, with less weight loss, the wrestler had only transient decrease in testosterone and prolactin and reported no decline in sexual activity. Body fat greater than 5% seemed essential to maintain normal endocrine function. It's important to know that hormones are formed by fat and cholesterol. Without fats, hormone production would suffer. Fats also help with the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, and K. A nutrient deficiency can certainly cause hormone imbalance, and not getting enough fat could be the cause. This is why males go through rigorous diets can experience a decrease in sexual activity or even complete absence. Side effect three, hanger. Have you ever snapped angrily at someone when you were hungry? Or has someone snapped angrily at you when they were hungry? If so, you've experienced hangry, an amalgam of hungry and angry. The phenomenon whereby some people get grumpy and short-tempered when they're overdue for a feed. Although this sounds like immature behavior, it's actually instilled in us at birth. A baby's main mechanism of notifying the mother to feed is by crying. A baby immediately stops crying once feeding starts. 
let's take a closer look at the physiology. As time passes after your last meal, the amount of nutrients that are circulating in your bloodstream starts to drop. If your blood glucose levels falls far enough, your brain will perceive it as a life-threatening situation. You see, unlike most other organs and tissues in your body, which can use a variety of nutrients to keep it functioning, your brain is critically dependent on glucose to do its job. You've probably already noticed this dependence. Your brain has on glucose, simple things can become difficult when you're hungry and your blood glucose levels drops. You may find it hard to concentrate for instance, or you may make silly mistakes, or you might have noticed that your words become muddled or slurred. When blood glucose levels drop to a certain threshold, your brain sends instructions to several organs of your body to synthesize and release hormones that increase the amount of glucose in your bloodstream. The four main glucose counter regulatory hormones are growth hormone, glucagon, adrenaline which is sometimes called epinephrine, and cortisol, which are both from the adrenal glands. The latter two glucose counter regulatory hormones are stress hormones that are released into your bloodstream in all sorts of stressful situations. Not just when you're experiencing physical stress of low blood glucose levels, in fact, Adrenaline is one of the major hormones released into your bloodstream with the fight or flight response. And this is due to a sudden scare, such as when you see or hear or even think of something that threatens your safety. Just as you might easily shout in anger at someone during the fight or flight response, the flood of adrenaline you get during the glucose counter regulatory response can promote a similar response. The main fix to this is to eat before your body reaches that level. You can start to tell a change in how you emotionally feel. Personally, I was always mindful of my attitude, so I encourage you to do the same, as it does have a potential to drive away loved ones. Again, caffeine and zero calorie beverages would often blunt this effect. Monsters were my best friend, but do take note of the amount you consume. Side effect four, fatigue and weakness. If you've ever done a diet, it's very common to decrease carbohydrate intake to see continual fat loss over time. We understand that glucose is one of our main energy sources. The decrease in glycogen stores has shown to result in a decrease in strength and thus in muscle size. It is understood and accepted that your strength and muscle mass will decrease when your decreasing body fat percentage is the main goal. That being said, there are tactics that can minimize muscle loss and decrease in gym performance. One of them is focusing a good portion of a carbohydrate intake around a training session. This way you'll be able to fuel your workouts and keep your output high. Another trick I would do is using RP Max, which is a pre-workout. My gym performance would then suffer at a lesser frequency in short and being able to maintain muscle mass. And those are the top four side effects of losing body fat. And as I mentioned, do be mindful of the things, the tactics that I've mentioned are very, very helpful. In terms of the weakness that I felt, be mindful of the caffeine that you take. This was the pre-workout that I was taking, RP Max. If you guys wanna check out RP Max, first link in the description, that leads you to HP Labs and if you can save money using the discount code DIAMONDS10. Three announcements for you. Number one, as I promised, I'll be doing a giveaway in each and every single video. All you have to do is comment like the video and subscribe. This is my way to say thank you to you guys as we approach 400,000 subscribers. In this one, I picked five people. The first three people were the ones who commented first, so I'll do that again in the next one. Ivan Benitez, Devil4, and Georgette Adelaide, please DM me on Instagram, MikeDiamonds23, to claim your prize so I can send this off to you. And the second two people I picked were the ones with the top comments, and that was Trayvon Johnson and Internet Hero. Please DM me so I can send this out to you. Second announcement is that the person I picked for the $150 HP Labs giveaway never DM'd me. So I'm gonna get rid of it in the next 24 hours. In this video, I'm announcing the name of my company, my pride and joy, somewhere in this video, right? The person who can comment it down below, I'll pick someone from that who comments the company name in the comment section. And the next 24 hours, I'll pick someone and I'll announce it on Instagram. So follow me there, Mike Diamonds 23 I'm going to give it away in the next 24 hours. And then number three, again, in the next video, I'll do the same. I'll pick five, maybe 10 people who comment, like, and subscribe. 